The next big villain for The Flash might be the Dark Knight himself, Batman. What's up everybody, my name is Joshua Riel, and if you want to see The Flash and Batman go head to head for a full season of The Flash, then you might get your wish, but maybe not quite how you think. In the recent episode Memorabilia, during a visit to the Flash Museum, a recording mentions a deadly villain from the future called the Red Death. But Cicada killed more people than Zoom, or even the Red Death. And as we know from the comics, Red Death is an evil alternate universe version of Batman who has the Speed Force. So while this isn't the classic flavor Cape Crusader, it is still Bruce Wayne, and the show has name-dropped future villains before their debut, so they may very well be setting up Red Death as the next big bad for The Flash. Here's a breakdown on everything you need to know not only about Red Death, but the villain team he belongs to and how his presence could alter the Arrowverse forever. The Red Death debuted as one of the villains in the 2017 Batman comic book event crossover, Dark Knight's Metal. He came from a world where Batman was so broken by the loss of his loved ones that he decided to do something extreme, access the Speed Force so he could travel back in time and save them. The Flash knows all too well that that kind of plan never works out how you want it to, <laughs> Flashpoint, so he refused to help him, but Batman being Batman, he subdued the Flash and in trying to steal his powers actually bonded with him and took over his body, becoming the Red Death. So he's a villain with all the speed of the Flash and all the tenacity and fighting ability of Batman and that is pretty terrifying. So if you're anything like me, then you're not wild about the idea of another speedster villain, but if that means finally getting Batman on the show, or at least a version of Batman, then I'll take it. While the arrival of the Red Death on The Flash would be momentous enough, he might not come alone. He belongs to an evil version of the Justice League called the Dark Knights. Each member is, like the Red Death, a version of Batman who fell to darkness and gained the powers of another Justice League member. So as you can see, the Red Death brings more potential than just one new villain. Perhaps his introduction is really the setup for the next crossover after Crisis on Infinite Earths, an adaptation of metal that sees evil Batmans based on the Arrowverse heroes arrive and attempt to summon their bat demon master, Barbatos, from the nightmare realm known as the Dark Multiverse. The Flash has made good use of the multiverse, but the dark multiverse is a whole other bag of potatoes. It's a place where entire worlds are created from a person's nightmares. The Dark Knights themselves only exist because Batman's fears manifested them into being. And as we've seen in previous seasons of The Flash, the villain always brings a new method of creating metahuman villains. Whether it's Thawne's Star Labs particle accelerator explosion, or the Thinker's really complicated plan with the bus. What if the upcoming season of The Flash used the dark multiverse as a catalyst for new bad guys? We could see a whole new wave of enemies generated from the nightmares of Barry, Sisko, Caitlin, and the rest of Team Flash. And other shows like Supergirl and Arrow could get in on the evil Batman fun too. So that's how one simple reference on The Flash could wind up reshaping the entire Arrowverse. Do you want to see Red Death on The Flash? Let me know in the comments. And for more from the Arrowverse, check out this breakdown on exactly how Thon is still alive in the future and what big villain and death to expect in next year's crossover and be sure to follow and subscribe wherever you like to watch IGN.